and Mozzie, it didn't take much attention. So now I can start having a conversation, but just, just me taking away that smooch, at the time they looked at me, created a sweet spot that they have learned to search for. They naturally go away from pressures, which you'll see is with the no noise, no nonsense approach. Not only will they go away from pressure, but they'll come towards it if that's where the sweet spot is. And so it becomes a much more efficient way of looking at things. You see how they're working as a magnet like one, right? I'm just treating them as one pretty much. Well now, I'm going to create the sweet spot behind Mozzie. Follow. Mozzie. Ella. Follow. Mozzie. Want me to be part of this group? Good. Thank you. And so I want her to go side by side with me. And so I just created a magnet through cues and body language that I've taught her. With my left, I'm going to draw that left one in. But I'm going to go to that hip to push the hip away, and he points the nose to me. I call that hip noses. Okay? I use hip noses with all my horses. If I want that nose, I go to the hip first. Go to the hip to get the nose. Go to the hip to get that nose. Okay? We're creating a current at the hip to push it away. And I'm going to step away from that nose if I want to draw it in. I'm just going to move him around a little bit. Mozzie's being a stinker over there. So cue followed by noise within three seconds. The noise needs to be effective. Create a current to draw that nose in. He didn't look at me, he was looking at Mozzie, but as soon as I cracked the whip, the whip was not the cue. What was the cue? to bring his nose in. It, it was the cue as that, that stepping back that I created that current. That was the cue. And when he didn't do that, I whipped the whip to get his attention and say, hey, I'm asking you something. 